All right, so we'll come back to this lesson. So in this lesson, we are discussing dimensional analysis. And um, I should make mention that um, dimensional analysis is basically on the units, yeah. It's based on the units of measurements. And these units are the SI units. Yeah, the, the, the standard units that we know, which is the mass, uh, the time and the length, yeah. So this is what we're just going to be looking at throughout. So just be looking at, um, yeah, so just under dimension analysis, the most important uh, uh, dimensions that we're going to be discussing, uh, length, um, time, and the mass. So these three are the ones that we're going to look at. All right, so, um, the other thing that you should know is that when you're dealing with dimension analysis, another important thing that you need to know, that you need to know by heart are the units. The units, let's say for instance, the units of force, you need to know them, units of acceleration, because if you don't know that, it will be difficult for you to derive the dimensional formulas of uh, certain, certain um, yeah, certain things like force, uh, pressure, density, all those things. If you don't know the, uh, if you don't know their, what is their units, then it will be difficult for you to, to drive their formulas. All right, so we can begin. So the first question here says, so uh, is it possible to just like memorize their formulas or I need to know their units to me to be able to derive the formulas? Okay, so that's a good question. So memorizing, if you are good at memorizing, you can manage, but at, at one point or one day you forget, more especially in an exam, or in a test, you may memorize today, but next time, next time, maybe let's say three months from now, the time you'll be writing your exams or three weeks or a few months from now, you discover that the time you sit on your table there writing, you try to remember this and that, it will be nowhere to be seen in your mind. And as a result, it's just good for you to understand the basic concepts of things than memorizing. Because if you memorize, it's very easy to forget. But if you know how to derive it, well, even if you forget, you still derive it. To be honest with you, me, I'm one person who, even in an exam, I may not know the formula. I may not have ever seen the formula before uh, of a question that, that, that is presented before me. But I managed to come up with the formulas, my own formulas that even after solving, I'll get the question correct. How do I do that? Just by knowing the, it's just by knowing the, the, assist, the, the units. If for instance, a question involves force, it involves acceleration and other things. As long as I know the units, it's very easy to come up with the formula. It's very easy. Yeah, so unless maybe the formula contains a certain constant, that's when maybe I'll get it wrong because I'll not be able to know that constant. But as long as the question only contains letters alone, it's easier for you to come up with a formula without knowing or without even ever seeing the formula before. As long as you just know the units, uh, the units of the uh, things that you've been given in the question. Yeah, so I'll be showing you how I'm going to be using units to drive these things, right? Okay. So let us see how we can work out um, this question. So the first thing that we're going to do, okay, first let me read through the question. It says, given that force is equal to AX plus BT squared plus C is an equation of force, 
where x is where x is distance and t is time find the dimension the dimensions of expressions axc over bty so this is a very simple question very simple question let us uh, begin to solve so the first thing that we're going to derive here are the dimensional you uh, rather it's the dimensional um, formula for force so we know that force is what mass times acceleration so i want you to follow me properly see how i'm going to use the formula and the units to derive the dimensional a formula for force okay okay or oh, maybe should i go by the units alone without um without coming from the oh maybe let me just no. it up like this this is this is when you understand better so the dimensional okay before i start writing the dimensions um let me say the mass the mass is measured in what kgs so I'm going to write kgs there. And then this is this dot means multiplication. And then acceleration is what? Meters per second squared, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is the this is a, a Newton in short. I wanted I wanted to start from Newton and say a Newton is equal to what? Kg meters per second squared. This is what, where I wanted to start from. But I realized that even starting from here, it would, it, it would just be okay because that's when you even understand better where the units come from. So, so this is what we have as the units for what? For force. So we have kg meters per what? Second squared. So if we are to write the dimensions of this kg, the dimension formula for kg is m kg which is mass so we're just going to write m and it has no power there so you can just write m to the power one then um, meters the dimensional formula for, for meters meters this is the length so it means that we're measuring length right so we're going to have l there then we're going to say everything divided by time so this is seconds seconds is what time so this L is also raised to the power one. Then the time is raised to the power what? two. So now what happens if you have um, one over, let's say A. One over A, if you want to write this as a base of A, you can write it as A to the power what? Negative one. So if I want to make this to be, or if I want to write it in terms of A just without uh, including this one, you just raise it to the power negative one, and uh, it can be like that. So meaning these two, I mean, rather this T that we have here, we can also take it on top there, meaning we got, we're going to have M, L, and then T to the power, what? since we have a two there, meaning we have negative two. This is why I came, I, I was showing you this, it's just to show you that T can also go there. So this is the dimension of formula for what? For force, so I'm going to write force. Okay, so we found one, which is force. Okay, so this is what I wanted us to find. So for force, we have mass, length, and T, negative two. So this is what we have for force. Now let us see how we can derive dimensions for a. Um, yeah, the dimensions for a. Um, a x uh, b t squared c and okay. I don't know uh, how this is, but I don't know if this was supposed to be AT, but then anyway, let's take it the way it is. All right, so uh, what this means is that the constant there, the constant C 
we'll just take the full dimensions of force. So the constant C, hello? I can get you. All right, so we say the constant C will get full dimensions of force. Because what this means, if you are adding these um, A, B, I mean, for adding these terms independently, it means that it's like us adding what? It's like us adding numbers this side. For adding two plus three plus four, it means that the answer that we're going to get here will still be what? A number to be a constant, meaning this is a number, that is a number, that is a number. So if, we're, if we have a force this side and we're adding terms this side, it means that all these individual terms that we're adding are what? Are forces. So that's that's what I'm saying. C will get the full dimensions for force, and this is what we're going to get. So for C, this is this is the dimensional formula for C. Let us also look at the dimensional formula for B T squared. So B T squared, the dimensional formula for B T squared. Oh, I didn't see that X is a distance there. That's why I was asking to say, is this X supposed to be T or just, or just X? Right, I've seen that the question says uh, X is the distance, meaning the dimensional formula for X is going to be L. All right, we'll come to that. First, let's find the dimensions for BT squared. Okay, so BT squared here, we're going to also equate this to what? to MLT negative two. And this T is simply just, um, okay, so when you're writing the dimensions, it's important to put them in these kinds of brackets. So this is what we're going to have. So this T you have T squared, the dimension formula for time is what? It's capital letter T. So we are going to have B and we have capital letter T squared being equal to M L T negative two. And our B will therefore be equal to M T M L T negative two divided by this T. So we can also take the T on top so that we have MLT negative two, another T negative two. So our B, so our B will therefore be equal to MLT negative four. So this is what we have. And um, we move on to the last one, which is finding the dimensions for what for a x. So this is how you solve any questions that is in that is in this uh, format. So a x is equal to. It's also a force, so we're going to have M L T negative two. And then we've been taught to say X is what? X is the length. So we have A being equal to, um, or let me, they're saying X is a distance. So meaning we, the dimension, um, the dimension for X there would be what? Length. Then this will be equal to M L T negative two. So even here you put these kinds of brackets. And then our dimension formula for L will therefore be M L T negative two over L. So you can see that this L and that L cancels, meaning the dimension formula for Ls will just remain M T negative two. All right, so the question is asking us to find this. 
So we need to find the dimensions for this. So trying to find the dimensions for A, X, C, over B, T, two. So trying to find the dimensions for this. So what is A, I'm going to put that. What is X, I'm going to put L. What is C, I'm going to put, um, what is it? C is there. So what is, um, what is A, I'm putting that. Of M, T, negative two. Then we have X there, which is L. Then we have C, which will also be what? M, L, T, negative two. Then everything divided by BT2. BT2 is, okay, where is my B? So our B is this one. So you can put your B there, so which is M, L, T, negative four. Then T2, we have T to the power two. So here is just a matter of what? Okay, let me just put them in one set of brackets. Here is just a matter of canceling what is common, that's all. So we cancel what is common. You can see that one L there and this L can cancel. Then T, um, okay, what else can cancel there? So T negative two and T negative two give us T negative four. So we're going to have M. So we have this M and that M will give us what? M to the power two. Then T negative two and T negative two will give us T negative four. Then what else is remaining? We have one L on top. Then everything down here will be. So we have M. Then we have T negative four and T negative two. When you add these two, you're getting T negative two. So we simplify this further. M, one M will cancel with one M there. So on the numerator will remain with one M. Then T negative two and T negative four there. Um, we're going to have T negative two on top. And then we finally also write that remaining L there. So this is, these are the dimensions for uh, what we were asked to find there. So you can now write it like this. So we can now write, the, write this as AXC over BT2 is equal to what? MT negative two L. So do you have any questions on this one? Okay. So we proceed.